got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is I slept into 11. Starting yesterday, I've just been ultra exhausted. I don't know if it's like a small cold or something else, but we are fighting through something. <laughs> Good news is uh, Valentine's Day weekend and it looks as though it is going off without a hitch. Uh, everything is coming into place. Got some fantastic specials. The weather looks great. I couldn't ask for anything else. Hopefully we hit a home run this weekend. I totally think we should have a segment called Costas going to Kroger because I feel like I'm going here so often. One of our specials for Valentine's Day is the uh, Bouffe Bourguignon pot pie, and we're gonna add pearl onions to it. We normally would order those from Cisco. Uh, Aaron failed to do that. So I'm gonna sneak in here and see if they have some. Normally they'll have them in the frozen section. If not, we'll start hunting around town to see if we can find some. A beef bourguignon pot pie. So it's got like carrots and like beef and um, pearl onions. We're supposed to order the pearl onions from our food supplier. And we didn't get any, so I'm gonna go. So now you're sourcing cat, them. cat and mouse, go find them real quick. But I think I've seen them there before, so okay. hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna start it tomorrow, and then all the way if I find the onions. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, so we have it tomorrow, all the way until Tuesday. Awesome. Well, so. We have to do some takeout. We live right behind you. So. Okay, beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. So What's much. your name? I'm Lauren. Lauren Costas. Nice Costas. to meet you. So nice to meet you. Absolutely. We'll see you around the restaurant. All right, take care. I want to talk a moment about what just happened there. We're doing our conversation about the pearl onions and someone overheard me, Lauren, who had never met me before, and I paused and took the time and talked to her about what I was talking about and the fact that I own the restaurant, the restaurant's right over there, it's a Greek restaurant, we made that contact. And that reminds me of an old proverb. It's not the grades you make, it's the hands you shake. Building those relationships with people, there is uh, no substitute for that. So. If you ever watched this, Miss Lauren, it was nice meeting you, and I, uh, I can't wait to have you over at the restaurant. There they are. We got them, boys. Pearl onions. Hey, boss. Terry, I got good news. Well, I don't the, know they got the they got the onions here. Yes. You're all set. Okay, I just unloaded the van here, and I'm going to open it. Wait, wait. Um, okay. Wait, are you at Onassis? I'm at Onassis. Oh. I came here first. Okay, cool. So, where, are you coming with these onions so we can start? Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing them right now. I wonder if these things really work for immunity boost or not. I just don't have time to be sick. You ever get that sensation? It's like, I do not have time for this sickness right now. That was strong. Hey honey, you wanna ask mommy if she needs anything from the grocery store? Is this the beef or the beef bourguignon? Yes, sir. How was lunch today? Good, busy. Did I get slammed today? Yeah, I got, you got a good pot for a minute. Huh? I got a good pot for a minute. Good, I heard Terry came here and helped out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This, this is for you. Thank you, this is my favorite too. Okay, don't, don't tell, don't I'll tell, tell my wife. I, I, I'll give you a Valentine's Day present, okay? Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll cherish it forever, Aww. thank you. Yeah. That's enough, right? That's for us, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Easy, right? Yeah, easy. Don't have to sit there and boil it. Just drop it in. A long, tedious process of making the beef bourguignon pot pie is searing all of that meat. The way you sear meat is you can't overcrowd the pan, otherwise the steam from the meat will steam the meat. So you have to put a few pieces at a time on high heat and just really sear. That way you're not eating like boiled meat. It has a nice caramelized color and it seals in the flavors. 
Why are you there? Excellent. How was your day? It was good. Busy. How much money did you make? I have no idea yet. A lot? I have no idea. But probably a lot? Probably. I would hope so. <laughs> Is that broken? No. Hold on. Just give Oh. <laughs> it's just a little shy sometimes. That's ridiculous. Oh, that should be fixed. Yeah, I know. It's all the owner. Yeah, right? It's time to complain. In. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a good rest of your lunch, okay? Hey, I'll yeah. see you soon. Bye. I'm out. What are you doing here? Hi! Picking up a packet. What is she doing here, Sophie? Hi. <laughs> hey, Yana, what are you up to? I'm picking up a packet. For who? Okay. We're picking up our packets. For who? For me, Sophie, and Isabella. Oh yeah? Y'all doing the 5K? 5K, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna be here. Go and grab some chocolate. I signed the girls up for an event called the Hot Chocolate 5K or 15K. We're gonna do the 5K this year. So we came today to pick up our packet, pick up all the things. And we're gonna do a little fun run Saturday morning. I'm excited. For me, I love to incorporate health and fitness and all those things into my girls at a young age, hoping that that will carry through with them into their adulthood. It's amazing, I'm here at Ballet after we went and picked up those packets for the run we're doing this Saturday. And it got me thinking that I'm in such a different season of my life where I'm spending so much more time with these kids and with the family and I'm more diverse. And I'm proud that we built a great team that runs the businesses. But I just remember like it was always me day in and day out working relentlessly and I have a little bit of survivor's guilt. I don't know what, what word I'm, I'm looking for, but basically like, sometimes I feel ashamed that I'm not like working unceasingly in the businesses and that people are putting in more hours than I am because I'm doing other things. That's my takeaway of today. I did just a few little small things and then I got to take the girls and do a packet pickup and I'm at ballet. Living my best life, I guess you could say. Thanks as always for watching. Put my hand on this little crazy one right here. Have a great day or night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.